So today I got to work with uh, Lisa Norton, who's a top level ITU triathlete. For the most part, it was very much like a traditional road position that we got to work on today. And she had a lot of things that we needed to change. I've been on my Mira for about a year now, and I've been feeling, I've been feeling great on the bike, but I knew I could do more improvements on the position. Working with Lisa on her pre-fit assessment and her interview, I learned a lot. She's had some back issues. So the number one goal is to make sure we protect that on the bike, that we don't aggravate an injury. In my pre-fit interview, we talked a lot about my, uh, uh, my past experience with riding, my, how my body behaves, uh, weaknesses, strength, past injuries. I found a couple pretty interesting things about Lisa's structure. First of all, her hamstrings were remarkably tight in comparison to how loose the front of the hip was. So you would think then that she could handle an incredibly low position. The physical assessment was very close to a normal physio screening, but we haven't included the bike fit to the to the physio assessment before he found that I had really tight hamstrings, which I kind of know, but I didn't know it impacted so much on my riding position as, as it does. And as soon as she got on the bike, I was, I was really surprised. Uh, she ended up pointing her toes at the bottom of the pedal stroke, literally trying to reach the bottom of the pedal stroke. And ironically, this is the exact opposite thing that we would want for somebody with really tight hamstrings. The next thing I did was work with her feet. She's got pretty high arches, but a significant amount of collapse in each foot. So we want to support those arches. I was uh, pretty intrigued and surprised by, uh, especially the right foot, the right angle. We did some changes that made my whole right knee come out from the bike and I had a much better square position on top of the bike. And that's something I never thought about doing before. As far as some equipment changes, we ended up going with uh, the same model of saddle that she'd been riding, which was a Roman. And as I worked with her, we discovered that the 155 width fit her a little bit better. That also helped square her up on her bike. And then probably one of the biggest changes that we made was to the handlebar. So we left the brake hoods essentially where they were, uh, but then brought the drops up to meet her. Now she's going to be even, even better because she's going to have much better weight distribution and control of the bike uh, in the drops. And I think that's going to be key. We did some major changes. I got a wider saddle, which I never tried before. That was the first experience. I also got smaller handlebars and a shorter stem, so I'm more compact over the bike. Uh, but I'm actually on top of the bike and I'm feeling much more centered and also feeling much stronger as the saddle came both forward but also a bit down, so I have more power, I feel I have more power on the pedals. I think she was surprised how many changes we made but each change we made was an improvement. So by the time we got done with the fit, she was really comfortable with all of it throughout the whole process. It's been quite talked about, I think, the video fit. Uh, all the professional riders had come in and a lot of them had got a lot more out of themselves than the time trials. And if these pro riders can you know, get percent each other their, their times in the time trials into the France, I reckon I could do some uh, pretty massive improvements on my bike as well. All of those things took the rider who was crooked and twisted on the saddle trying to accommodate all of these different structures and then bring her up onto the saddle squarely, now she's actually going to be able to accomplish what her coach is asking her to do. Uh, I think we're going to see some major improvements in her position down the road. It's been much more than what I thought it was going to be, you know, with all the different things and especially not just changing things but how it feels so much better riding. It's small, it's one millimeter here, uh, three there and suddenly the whole riding experience is, is very different.